Almost 2,000 years ago, Pompeii was once a densely populated, bustling city. Then, a cataclysm triggered by nature turned it overnight into a ghost town. Does that sound familiar? Pompeii really is a, really a symbol for uh, our modern uh, city. London, New York, Paris, Napoli, Milano, they were in the last month ghost city, empty. In Pompeii was the same. Coronavirus and volcanic eruptions may be two different threats, but the ancient and modern metropolis have a lot more in common than being turned into ghost cities by them. Both they and we should have seen it coming. We want to begin with the spread of the coronavirus right here in the U.S. Overnight, health officials in Washington, California and Oregon announcing each state had one person who had contracted coronavirus. Without. At a raucous South Carolina rally, President Donald Trump casting doubt on the coronavirus outbreak in this country and casting blame on the Democrats. This is their new hoax. We have lost nobody to coronavirus in the United States. Just as the world initially underestimated the dangers of coronavirus, Pompeii too ignored a warning. Pompeii was destroyed not only from the eruption, but also 17 years before the eruption, in the 62 AD, and a terrible earthquake destroyed Pompeii and Herculaneum. The damage from the earthquake in 62 AD must have been engraved in people's memory as it was in the city's walls. Instead of wondering whether it was dangerous to live in Pompeii, residents picked themselves up, rebuilt and quickly returned to their daily lives. 17 years later, the city was destroyed by a massive eruption and buried under volcanic ash and debris. But how does that compare to our way of coping with dangers like coronavirus? And have we learned anything from it? If you look at the coronavirus now, it's more or less the same. We uh, perceive the danger when uh, the government say you have to stay at home because there is people sick. But we are just waiting that the danger is coming a little bit down to go out and to try to make the same that we the same life or before the coronavirus even if we are uh, the, the the danger is still there as pompeii reopened to the public after the lockdown so do cities across the world but should we learn from the past to prepare for the future explosion three miles into the sky, belching fury that dwarfs the man-made war nearby. The Vesuvius last erupted in 1944. Since then, the only plume of smoke that appeared to come out of the volcano is from planes flying over it. But despite the many reminders that the Vesuvius is still an active volcano, Neapolitans seem to be pretty relaxed about it. There is more than one million people that live inside the red zones around the two volcanoes of Vesuvius and Campi Flegrei. This area has to be evacuated before any events, eruptive events occur, because the events that occurred at the Vesuvius as at Campi Flegrei are characterized by an explosion that emitted away from the volcanoes hot gases, ashes, running down to the volcanoes at high speed that could kill people in a few minutes. There are evacuation plans in place, but rather than relying on the government, Neapolitans seek protection from a higher power from all kinds of danger, including coronavirus. They also believe in good luck charms, like these red horns. They are supposed to protect from bad luck and recently also from coronavirus. Take a step back in time 
and you'll find that not much has changed. People in nearby Pompeii also worshipped the gods, believed in lucky charms, and covered their walls in graffiti. One of them translates in, the smallest evil, if neglected, will reach the greatest proportions. Yet another warning from Pompeii that rang true almost 2,000 years ago, and still does today. Hey NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.